Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh wow. 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 Oh my God. This story is the story that keeps giving. What are we talking about? Kill and so kill a be kill a jewel. Auntie if you're my hey, Auntie if you're my hey, oh my god, oh my god. Alex Ekubo's alleged sister. We don't I don't know if that's the sister. I'm just going to believe that's not the sister. But it doesn't really matter. Okay. But she claimed to be the sister. Okay. She said my family does not live in our gay gay. Hey, voila, voila today. Hey, hey. That was a lot. That was a lot. Okay. But I've got a few minutes. I got about 25 minutes to see what we can do with this. Okay. As usual, I want to come from the angle of uh, extracting the lessons in this for all of us. This is not about Alex. It just seems like it's about Alex. Okay, it seems like it's not about Alex. Alex is the only one doing the correct thing so far outside of uh, the text messages that we saw uh, that seems to paint him, as we analyzed yesterday, as a manipulator, a person with uh, controlling behaviors. And uh, that's not working out very well out for him. Right? And this alleged sister has confirmed, well, she's alleged, so she didn't confirm nothing. <laughs> she said, what is that gigi? Ah, <laughs> you guys will know on the show. She said our family that all of them are straight. Okay, the opposite of it. Yeah. She said our, nobody in our family lives in a gigi. Basically. Somebody said, what is a gigi? <laughs> all right, so um anyway, we talked about this story. Go watch the, the backup story. This young man you're looking at on the screen, this young lady, they put themselves out. The young lady was dragging him, saying that he knew, right, that he was he was the one that structured, that constructed the apology. Uh, basically, let me bring you up to speed in about two minutes, okay? About a year ago, um, she they were engaged, and she came out and said she's discontinuing and canceling the engagement, and she says she no one do anymore, right? And she said leave your truth and that got people speculating all over again there's always been speculation around his name that he is not a straight man okay that he lives in agege you get it now okay and um what happened a whole year plus later this young lady came out and apologized and said hey we don't make sense when we are apart i miss you i miss your family blah 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 one day later she came out and said you know what he helped me constructed the apology. This is all a lie. I need to be free. You get it? Am I coming up to speed quickly? Okay. And today, my auntie B was doing our show. Am I a little dramatic? I am. Okay, I get it. <laughs> right? She's doing our show. And this alleged auntie with the same last name as Alex Kubo came up. And this is what happened. Let's get into it. Thank you so much, Jenny. Yes. I think we have Alex. We have a, a, a somebody that is related to Alex Okubo here. Okay. She said, my family has been quiet about this issue, but I think it's time we set this record straight. Informa Okubo is in the studio. Hello, Informa. How are you? I'm good. Yourself? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Welcome. Where are you joining us from? Um, I'm in Canada. I live in Canada, but right now I'm in the States. Are you related to Alex Okubo? Yes. In how fact, are, honestly... How we, are you related? We, um, let's just leave that one. At least you can see my... Wait, 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 wait. If you're going to use his last name, what do you mean, let's just leave that one? What do you mean by that? It's already too late. Tell us more about your relationship, right? Because I have more questions about that. I have just questions. Because not only... Will you not tell us the relationship? Just because you asked somebody's last name, how many people do we know is Ajayi in Niger? How many Indians do we know that are Patels, right? How many, uh, you know, uh, I'm thinking about Igbo last names right now, <laughs> right? I can't think of one, right? How many of them do we know, right? Just because you ask somebody, Ekubo, how many do we know? I don't know. I, don't, I only know two of them, but you get the gist, right? 
Why won't you tell us? Hmm. The cap is already real. All right. My last name, I'm Ifama Ikubo, and honestly, family didn't want us to talk. Nobody wants to talk, but this is really... Oh, wait, auntie, you think you're smarter or wiser than the family? The family didn't want us to talk. You think they're just stupid and dumb? And they're just being a simp, or they, are, they just want to pander to the public, whatever everyone wants to say, when they don't... They can comprehend the idea of silence as a powerful tool. What happened here? Oh, you just you're just the smarter one, the wiser, the wisest of them all. Let's continue. Really, really getting out of hand. I am so emotional right now. Okay. Because calm this down. fancy girl <laughs> has spoken to me. Listen, I'm I'm fancy I'm I'm spoke to me. Honestly, I am upset. I didn't it's want okay. to talk. We've been all right. I think she was authentically upset, but that's the problem. Do you realize that you being upset is actually a problem? Somebody said, but she has the right. No, she doesn't have the right. Stop it. She has the right. She's entitled. No, entitlement is the worst of them all. <laughs> okay. Entitlement is just bad. On somebody else's platform, on a public platform. Entitlement, this is how you get in trouble. You think you're entitled. You think you have rights. Every God, everything is a privilege. Everything. Listen to me carefully. Everything, including this story around Alex, if he understands, if he's correct up here, it's a privilege. But of course, that's depending on how he chooses to spin it. Maybe he's not equipped to spin it, right? Even when alleged sister come out, comes out, what did somebody say? Bedroom spirit sister. <laughs> Bedroom spirit sister, right? Even at that, he can still spin it properly. Okay, shout out to Yummy Gold. Listen, the more you talk, including me myself right now, but thank God I'm doing the show. The more you talk, the more ammunition you give to destroy yourself. Gentlemen, especially you, listen to me carefully. I know you have all the truth. You monopolize truth. You are the only one that can. You are the truth teller, right? The more you speak. But auntie feels like she's wiser than the rest of the family. <laughs> Let's keep going. Okay. We Alex, we decided to let, let God fight this battle for this boy because people have been calling him gay. This is a boy that every but they know that he he is not gay. He's been sleeping with fancy for God knows how long. Up until the 24th of You see why they call you bedroom spirit sister now? Auntie. How do you know? Oh, wait. Why is your last name a Kubo? I mean, this is just all cap. How do you know? Why are you so... Wait, because you're a sister. Okay. You were in the bedroom? Well, they asked, they asked her a lot. She said, he's nuts. In our family, it is nuts. What, what did she say? My family does not live in Agege. <sighs> the same back. He's living with fancy. And slept with him. Why is it? Why? Just because he doesn't want to take him, take her back. If you get it, Francis dad is an Uber driver. Who says she's Francis? Oh my god. I believe her, but I still have to call her alleged sister. We do I don't know this auntie, okay? I still have to call her alleged sister. I believe her though. Just my personal belief, right? But since I believe her, I think she threw him under the bus even more. She made it worse. Auntie. Whenever the elders in your house say shut up in the future, Yoruba people say, it's because they are wiser than you, auntie. If they say go and pray about it and let, you know, the, what did the Bible say? God said, vengeance is mine. Oh, you thought that was a spiritual thing, right? No, it's not just spiritual. It's literally vengeance is mine. You can't, it's not sustainable. You can't fight for yourself. It's not so, you can't do it. Yesterday, it was fancy that I needed to know that. And guess what you just did? Made it worse for the young man. <laughs> Let's be clear. It's very brave for him to have not spoken at all. It's a very brave behavior. It's a lot going on inside. Let's be clear about that just as brave as the people that are out one is not braver than the other the issue here is ladies listen to me listen to me ladies 
Listen, the women in this boy's life are not helping him. Fancy and anti Fioma are making matters worse for him. Emotions are not your mate. If you don't put it under some kind of control, you will just destroy more. Even, what did Ice Ice say earlier? Even with good intentions. Let me go back to Ice Ice. Ah, why didn't I start that comment to Ice Ice? You go collect too. Hey, Jesus, where's that comment to? What did she say? Ah, Ice Ice, where's your comment? Ha, ah, Jesus. Where is it? I must. Ah! Oh, I found it. Ah, I said she was correct. Hey! What did she say? Whichever I take, it's our intentions and purpose that matter. The purpose, yes. The intention in the potter potter. You don't think this young lady had good intentions? She did. What did she do? She messed it up more. She made a mess. But this is, I don't even know. I am so mad. Like, we have had it up to here. This boy is going into depression because of what people are saying about him. Ifama, Ifama, calm down. Calm down. I understand she, he's your family member. Why is everybody saying he's gay? Hold on, hold on. He is hold not. On. He is not. How do you know, auntie? But anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep going. So hold I can cover on. a little you base know. today. <laughs> no, I know. How do you know? Auntie, so me. you don't know. I <laughs> up with me. Oh, Alex me. is not gay. Okay, how me, do you know let he's me not ask gay? Your question. Wait, she never answered that question throughout the whole session. She never answered that. How do you know he is not? Oh, she gave one reason. She said she gave the reason that JR gave in the beginning. Right? She gave the reason that JR gave in the beginning. <laughs> In my family, my family. Oh, uh, they even mentioned another young man's name. They mentioned his name, uh, Ike Bona. He said, he has a child. Dude, did you listen to the old show? Those are terrible excuses to defend these people. You're making it worse for them. And by the way, you don't love them, including your brother. If you love them, you're not capable of loving them. I, I think you, you would like to love him like a brother. But you're not capable of loving him. Because you love him under one condition. He has to be a straight man. It's conditional. Your love for him is conditional. As long as he aligns with what you consider to be your belief about your family. Then you love him. Oh no, let me guess what you're about to say next. It's the behavior that I condemn. Cap. Cap. Stop the cap. <laughs> it's cap. Hero, Lord Hero. But I don't think you mean to lie. I, I believe truly that she wasn't lying. She was just ignorant. And I think it's worse. Because people that are liars, and they're, they're, they're trying to be evil, we can at least see them as evil and destroy them completely. But when they're ignorant, it's like, oh, we got to have some empathy for that. They just don't know what they don't know. So we kind of, it's better that we learn how to navigate them. Shout out to Jenny J. Let's if see. Alex is gay, why mm. is it that Fancy, Fancy, do you know how many times Fancy called me to beg Alex? I was one of the people that that I was even fighting for Fancy. Alex said no, that this girl is crazy. We don't know Fancy. You don't know Fancy. I don't. No, I don't. Fancy called me. I live in Canada. You would have seen some pictures that Alex posted when he visited Canada. So based on what you say, I was picking up that Fancy may just belong to the streets. Fancy has been out there. <laughs> Potentially. She's a model, right? Yeah, potentially. Possibly. I know we call her naive and all this kind of stuff. I think she's naive. She's not street smart, but I don't think she's exactly as innocent as she's painted up to be either. But that's not what we're talking about, right? <laughs> we're talking about the alleged sister. <laughs> she needs to be open-minded. She is so ignorant. Nigerians are not open-minded. Yeah. Yes. With my food chest, I generalized. It's very, very rare to find an open-minded Nigeria. Okay, an open-minded Nigeria. It's very, very difficult. But it's not an abnormal behavior. 
that's what happens when you have belief systems and ideologies that you tag onto and you refuse to tell yourself that there's something else that exists beyond what you've always known or what you were told, right? This is why a bunch of young men are like, wow, there's a matrix. Yes, there's a matrix. Yeah, yeah. It's always been there. Oh, you just found out, but you don't want to believe it. So you're repeating the talking point to hurt yourself more, to get angry with the world. You're angry. That's an emotion. When you don't put your emotions under control, you will self-destruct. Do you understand what I'm saying? They have lied on this boy. They lied with him with Uti. They lied with so many people. This boy okay. would just be quiet. And I've been telling him, Alex, I think it's high time you, you stand up and talk. So Fancy why not? Oh Hold my on. God. I don't even Hold want on. to say a lot of things that Come I on. know here. Because <laughs> they always say I don't want to say a lot of things, but let me keep going. She went in for another 40 minutes at least. What does that tell you? Well, it only tells us she's human like the rest of us. How many times have I told you that I want to end at a certain time? Today, it's not different. Today is going to be different. I have to end, <laughs> right? That I want to end, but you know, we just keep talking because we're enjoying the conversation, right? Hit that like button, hit that like button. Uh, Chia says, Agege is a place in Lagos, Nigeria, but in this context, he's codedly playing on words to use it to substitute the word gay. Yes, I will use Agege for the word gay henceforth. So please get used to that. Thanks to Antibi. <laughs> you have Okafo, Okonkwo, Nwakpa. I've never heard that before. The Okafo and Okonkwo, yes, I've heard that. How many people do you know that are Okafo, Okonkwo? Uh, this auntie, I believe you are, you are truly related, but, you know, I choose to not believe. So I can say what I want to say. Okay. <laughs> I am so pissed. See, Fancy, Fancy said her, her, she, her, her parents were supposed to pay for the wedding. Alex pays Fancy $500. Every month when Alex was the one taking care of Fancy. That's what Alex said. Okay, you're not telling us anything. How did you know that he does not live in Agege, auntie? You have not told us that part. Oh, I know. You're a bedroom spirit sister. Like somebody said earlier. <laughs> Listen, uh, she said a lot. Bottom line is that this person obviously lack, they're, they're not open-minded. I wouldn't call her homophobic. I would slow down on that. But I will understand anybody that calls her homophobic. In fact, that conversation was too much. We went in way too much. There's no way that anyone that was in that room would not be called homophobic because there were little, little subtle homophobic things that have been thrown around, even by people that don't mean to. We have to be extremely sensitive to this because it's a new age in time. Not because they are brand new that they started falling out of the skies. They've always been there. Get this in your brain. They have always been part of the society. They were just living a secret lifestyle because it wasn't tolerated. We lacked tolerance. One of the particular skill set that you will need if you're going to be in a marriage or any form of relationship. You will have to be tolerable some people call it you have to be agreeable no they are different you slow lame person they are different agreeable is different from tolerance okay there's some situations you can't change you can try to change it sure knock yourself out but you can't that's the reality it's always been there okay if you didn't know say i didn't know Keep an open mind. See, it's arrogance at its best, okay? Keep an open mind that there's something you just may not know, like the rest of us. We are still discovering the human experience. You don't know what you don't know. I'm going to leave that video there. Think, I think. If you want me to, tell me in the, and tell me in the group if you want me to continue this analysis because this video had another 35 minutes to it of a lot of ignorance coming out of her mouth. But one thing we can conclude is that she did not answer any question because she couldn't. So I kind of have to give her a pass. She couldn't. But next time, auntie, sisters, okay? Mostly women that do this, okay? Gentlemen, the feminine men out here today, if somebody tell you be silent, you're not wiser than them because you're louder. You're not wiser. You're probably more stupider. 
more stupider. You're probably stupider, if that's a word. Jesus Christ. You're probably more stupid. <laughs> okay? You're probably not, you're not thinking. Maybe you're not stupid. Let me slow down. I said I was going to be nice. Okay? Somebody said, be quiet. God said, vengeance is mine. It's not, it's not spiritual talking, talking. You, you can't keep up with what you're trying to defend. Slow down. Slow down. Like I've to be said many times, we understand you're connected to this person you're trying to defend. The best way to defend them, what's the best way to defend them? Awareness. Key. Awareness. Okay? If you have to take any form of action, it needs to be within the three Ps. You can't do anything outside of the three Ps. Anything you do outside of the three Ps in this moment, in the moment of crisis, Unless we're talking about an actual war zone and you have weapons, you don't. Clearly, the only thing you have is your mouth that will help you destroy for the people you love even more. So, so we know that that's a bad idea completely to start using your mouth. You call into a show, you start running your mouth. Hey, shout out to Auntie B, but she keeps doing it, right? Because we know we can't stop you. I give it to you. We can't stop you because you you believe you believe you're right. And I keep telling you, no matter how many times I tell you you're right. I I I I. I... You're right. You don't believe it when I tell you. I told you you are right. Agidi, you're stubborn. You know they hear. I said she won't hear. I said she will. She continued. It doesn't work. Talking destroys more than it builds. Do you understand? It destroys. Your words are powerful. You have to pay attention to that. Your words are very powerful. They cut both ways. There's a very good chance that you're going to use the cut yourself and the people you love when you're not aware emotionally. The very idea that you think you can call into a show emotionally and start crying, that's actually manipulative behavior. Did you know that? Did you know that that's manipulative behavior? Even if it's not crocodile tears, even if you meant well, Okay, let's be guided. All right, good to see you, mom, mom of three L official. Ah, uh, yeah, that's completely a bad idea. Uh, verify your identity and relationship to the subject. Hmm. Yeah, bedroom spirit sister. <laughs> what a name. Oh Lord. This was just a bad idea completely. Would they beat? Would they cry? Auntie Fioma alleged. She will not come and say, oh, somebody like, no, 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 no. I was gentle. Trust me, today, I was really gentle. Because honestly, if I, if the group, if the prestige family say I should continue this analysis tomorrow, I can't promise I'll be this gentle. But I think I extracted the main lesson here. Calm down. Okay. Intentions, good intentions is always ending up always a lot of time the good intentions is great don't get me wrong i think we should all have good intentions but they end up in the quarter quarter all the time it's not good it's not good enough i should say okay you need to be wiser than you need to slow down if the elders in your family says slow down you probably should slow down what that meant is is means when the child is cutting a tree you know how you cut tree manually right back in the woods back in the village when you're cutting it right uh a child will not know what direction that tree is going to fall in but the elders they know they know another thing is that if you have more gucci outfits more than the elders you can't have more rags than the elders uh -uh. sometimes you can't see that far but trust that the elders can see further than you. Listen, I was one of you, okay? I didn't listen, <laughs> okay? So I know, that's I'm speaking from experience. So when I'm sharing this kind of stuff with you and I tell you, slow down, Emma, slow down. Big good to see you, Big how are you? She didn't really disclose how close she is to Alice, so we don't know. No, it's alleged. That's her. Uh, and she's a bedroom uh, spirit sister. That's, a, that's how far we know. I guess Alex and Fancy gives her bedroom reports each time they do. And you believe what they say? Who reports to their sister what they did inside the bedroom? Who does that? Oh, I know what you're about to say. They're just that close. Still, you don't know. Assume you don't know. Always. You're about deep, you? Oh, you're about deep. You know, I can't lie. You know, 
she is the fly on the wall she said ik was married and as a child these are terrible proof points to determine if somebody lives in agege or not auntie listen to me okay i'm a village boy like you and my mom don't use that statement ever again to prove that don't do it again stop it stop it don't do it go work there are many people shout out to them that lead this life of lies okay because of the society because of this type of talking points right they find themselves in a situation where they're trying to use all those fake things that really doesn't work anymore today right to cover their tracks it's hard for them i have to be empathetic with the back but it's hard for me to be empathetic with you it's i want to be but it's hard don't say this statement again as a proof that somebody doesn't live in agregi or not it's ignorance okay it's ignorance she has said she made it worse especially when she said that because of the issue between him and fancy he's afraid of women she left herself wide open <laughs> that's the point where i said wait is he afraid of the p of the box right auntie you're making it worse you the more you talk you make it worse the more you talk the more you make it worse women and our paper body too much <laughs> relax right i know it's tough because you're a woman at the end of the day and you are a feminine man that's not a crime or an indictment it's just the zone where we find ourselves okay if you're a man listening to me and you find yourself you're caught up in your emotions you pull out the camera you start filming your wife because she's arguing you're in your feminine energy it is what it is you're talking you're, you're teaching each other the blind leading the blind i get it but listen to me keep coming back here because you will self-destruct that's why the elders say nisu that's why they said that hmm. I'm celebrating my father's 70th birthday this uh this this week. I can't tell you how much I appreciate that man. There's just a lot of shit I didn't listen to, okay? Not the typical stuff, the harder one, the emotional stuff. Right? He couldn't put it into words exactly the way I needed to, but I also did not listen because I couldn't. So I'm speaking from experience, okay? Am I calm down? Am I calming down? <laughs> all right shout out to you all i'm sorry today has to be short okay she asked the question can anybody come out and say they were their boyfriend auntie that was the point that's what they call the dl shout out to uh <laughs> shout out to just j yesterday she said they got dl down there too yeah they do <laughs> since forever <laughs> even worse okay even worse Oh, when Alex talks, he will say she is crazy and has mental. If I was Alex, I would denounce her as at least for a while. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't be denouncing my. That's worse. But you know what I mean. I would feel like denouncing her, make his matters worse. But where did the issue start? She never answered it. She kept saying they grew up together. Dude, you don't know anything about the people you grew up with, especially the people you grew up with. You don't know what kind of animals they become in a marriage. You don't know what your child will become in a marriage. You just don't know what you don't know. You got to keep an open mind like that. That's the best way to defend your children, to defend your loved ones. Assume you don't know who they are inside of a marriage because then you'll be able to calm down and listen because they really what they need is listening. Because what you're going to go there and say is like, no, 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 I trust them. They will never do that. I trust my son. He will never say something. That's stupid. That's lack of wisdom now. A lot of our mothers do that. All right. Shout out to you, Naomi. Good evening. Good evening. But right, we're rounding off. I personally do not agree with the Agege lifestyle. But all I have in my heart is nothing but love. Hey. Hey, be careful. <laughs> be careful. It's not yours to agree with. It's not your life. Right? Think of it that way. Right? It's literally, the statement you just made, if I was to help you, because I understand where you're coming from, it's just not your life right but there are a lot of statements that we make when we're straight people that make them feel unsafer to come out and leave their truth so when you tell them to leave their truth 
There's a lot of subtle, 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 subtle little things. That's why I don't speak to it too much because I just don't know anything about their experience. It's like a white person speaking about your black experience. It's better to be less talk, <laughs> you know? <laughs> if if your man was spewing all kinds of ignorance, he was extreme. If there isn't doubt over Alex's actuality, then why do they need to have updates and play-by-play -play of uh, the uh, the uh, the other room antics? Listen, that, like I, my analysis said, very little about his personal life. I don't think it's relevant. Relationships are relationships. It's the same thing across. He had controlling behaviors. That was all that mattered. That's the lessons we could get out of it. Controlling behavior, manipulation, like what auntie just tried to do, try to manipulate us with crying. I don't think she was doing it intentionally. I think she meant well, but nonetheless, she made it worse. She was destroying the, the situation even further. You get what I'm saying? Um... Same-sex relationship has been around for a very long time, since the beginning of the human experience, okay? Uh, even in Bible times, so they existed before and will continue to exist. Listen, I don't trust you now. You will keep talking. Let me go to the bottom and read up a little bit. <laughs> she said, even way before marriage, when you are carrying your baby on your back, you don't know what they are plucking and eating, tankless of when they are growing adult. Hey, now. Exactly. Thank you, Yvette. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, he's a great man. He doesn't believe that. And that's something I struggle with. I want him to believe that he's a great man, you know. But she couldn't say he dated a girlfriend either. She didn't have to mention names. Could have said here. Yeah, exactly. Could have up. Could make sense, right? But that's why I say he, she kept throwing him under the bus. But making it worse, okay? Anytime you go, let me let me pull out this lesson because I, I mentioned it very lightly there and I want to mention it really quickly. I got four minutes. I got to round up right now. Anytime you, your brother, your sister, somebody you love, they end up in a crisis. Inevitably, it will happen in a marriage, in a relationship. All you need to do is be the listening ears. You need to be their backbone. You need to be where they can feel safe. If you are defending them and throwing the other person on the bus, they actually don't feel safe. Okay? Because remember, that was their choice. To be, they are embarrassed by the whole situation. So throwing the other person under the bus doesn't help. Okay? They just need to feel safe that they can vent to you. That's it. That is it. Okay? If you don't understand that, you will end up throwing them more under the bus. If you go there and say, yeah, I knew it. Remember we talked about that a few days ago. I knew it. I've always knew there's something wrong about that girl. Auntie, you didn't really like fancy like that. You were just coping with fancy. You couldn't wait. Right? But you're not helping Alex. Right? For, for Number one, because we know that Alex and the family, based on what you said, said, don't relax. God will fight for us. You thought that was a spiritual talk. You thought you could fight for yourself, right? See how it's become. Yeah, there was, yeah, yeah. There's going to be at least 20,000 monitoring spirits on that video in the next, all of us, by the way, in the next, tw oh, you see how, you see how you helped? This is applicable to all of us. Relax. Tell yourself to relax or until it becomes second nature. You, you, it's not sustainable. You can't fight for yourself. That is a physical thing. That is a tangible concept. That is a real thing. It's not just spiritual. Hmm. Anyway, Jenny J, I'm going to end right here. She said, Hola, please take it easy. Actually, the first time I'm joining live and you're dishing out lessons in the most hilarious ways. Let me, let me, uh, uh, if you want, join the group. Shout out to you, Jenny J. Shout out to you. Let me say this, okay? Go join the group. And, and, and let's talk. You know, shout out to Auntie B. That was a fantastic session. The truth. You shall do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Okay? You can't help the truth. If you try to help the truth, you will self-destruct. If you are a truth teller, you will self-destruct yourself. If you are a truth monopolizer, you will self-destruct yourself. Okay? Uh, in fact, living your truth, as you can see, is a difficult thing to do for all of us because we like to put our best foot forward. We like packaging. 
it's normal behavior okay but we do to an extent sometimes that it's just difficult but let me let me take it easy at this point let me take it easy because uh we have tomorrow okay join the group join the prestige family on the group uh tell me over there if you want us to continue this analysis there's about 35 40 minutes more i'm sure there's tons of lessons in this i just know it if you want me to continue tomorrow i will if not we move we move right shout out to you all thank you so much for stopping by i appreciate you the prestige family we're working